installment of No Botox Beauty. Yes, and happy Monday to everyone. Hope you had an amazing week. We are here again in beautiful Arizona, a.k.a. the sauna. It is 104 degrees right now. Yeah. And we're and actually in the shade, and it's actually really beautiful, but I yeah. can't complain. It could be <laughs> negative 104. We could live in America. Absolutely. I'm just talking about that today. So we are back, and we wanted to finish the No Botox Beauty segment that we were doing. Um, we did a couple of episodes previously talking about everything from the foods you should be eating to stress to sleep, just everything that is all things preventative mm -hmm. for your skin, for beauty health, for internal health, mm -hmm. all the above. So... Yeah, and I think the best way to end it I, for this series for us will be to, not only we've given you a lot of tips and pointers and mm -hmm. a lot of uh, scientific information about what happens on the inside with your skin, basically, like, after doing all that work, what are you going to put on the outside? Like, yeah. if you're wearing makeup, if you're cleansing, if you're moisturizing, what products are you allowing onto your skin? Well, and that's the unfortunate part, right? Like, everyone thinks, like, what skincare? That's the number one question I'll, I'll get asked when it comes to skincare is what are you using? And I have to just reiterate that again, that the majority is what you're putting in your body. Like, right. hands down, what, 90%. You, what, you put, yeah, what you put in your body is going to reflect on the outside. But because we haven't talked about what we use on our own skin, we thought we would talk to you guys about that and just kind of go into some other things. So, um, basically, one of the things that I would encourage you to do is before you even think about uh, basically before you think about getting a new product figure out what you're using now like mm -hmm. look at the back of your uh, your face wash your moisturizer yeah. and look into your cosmetics and one of the things I posted in the title of this is something to never put on your face right and I think that you guys are gonna be surprised that a lot of you might be using beauty products that have this in it but it is um, SLS it's found in a lot it almost every uh, drugstore and main uh, brand of face wash and literally I will everything encourage yeah. you your soap your body wash get that out of your medicine cabinet if that's the first thing you do before you buy anything new ditch any product with SLS in right. it and that's because SLS is a hormone disruptor it's an endocrine disruptor yep. and it can start absorbing into your skin uh, in less than I think it's like five or six seconds it's very quickly so if you have it's it huge. in your closet, in your uh, bathroom closet, ditch it. It can be in your shampoo, yeah, in your face wash. Anything that suds up, get rid of that. So that's where I would start. And that's important to mention because what you put on your skin absorbs within, I think it's like they say 27 seconds, something super quick. So think about it. You're using, you buy this lotion at the drugstore, like Jergens, whatever you want to call it, and it's for cellulite. Mm -hmm. They're like, we're going to clear up your cellulite. You're buying that in hopes that it absorbs, right? You're, you're buying that in hopes that it's going to absorb in your skin and it's going to do something. The same thing applies with the toxins. So you may be getting some benefits from it, but the toxins are absorbing in your skin as well. And that's important that she mentions endocrine disruptors because as a hormone coach, that's like one of the first things I have people get rid of is the toxins in your beauty care products. Again, that's your shampoo, that's your conditioner, that's your lotion, that's your deodorant. I mean, this, there's so many different chemicals. Right, that, and I've been pretty, I feel like I've been very health conscious for a long time, and even some of the products that I was using that I thought were healthier because mm -hmm. they said natural on them. Unless it says SLS free and no parabens, the parabens are another thing, yeah. do not put them in your uh, into your closet. Into and parabens are the, the popular ones. So everyone's looking for parabens, but there's so many other things that you can be looking for. Mm -hmm. um, I, when I coach my girls, I give them like a sheet and a website of everything to go mm -hmm. to and check your products, make sure that they don't have these things because you may be thinking you're getting benefits of like moisturizing or anti-aging, but yet you're wreaking havoc on your skin and it's not going to work long term. Right, and all. when you said it, these things are absorbing, so now is it, is it clogging your pores and wreaking havoc on the outside? Then you're looking at wreaking havoc from the inside out and doing, right. so everything you're putting on to fix, you're actually messing your hormones up and, and it's coming out on yeah. the inside or on the outside. So you're basically like subbing one for the other and you don't want to do that and it's not necessary. You don't need to like sac have to sacrifice your health for your skin or sacrifice your skin for your health. Like it's all unison. When you're mm -hmm. doing everything in the right way healthfully, everything just falls into place, including weight loss. So that's not something we're going to cover, but that has a part of it. Yeah. So what would your top three products, if you wanted to recommend like what you would pick, okay. what are top three products that you could put into your uh, 
basically regimen. Bathroom. Yeah. Okay. So for uh, my actual skincare line, I use a skincare line called Alatura Naturals, which is an amazing product. Um, mm -hmm. A friend of mine, Andy Nilo, created. And I started off with a mask, and then I kind of he started with different products as well. So that's a great skincare line. I swear by it. All natural jojoba oil. We talked mm -hmm. about this earlier. So I use that as a makeup remover. So a lot of times you'll see like these Neutrogena makeup removers, and they have mm -hmm. a ton of stuff in them. So definitely stay away. Jojoba oil is literally just that. You can buy like a little tiny bob bottle. It's like mm -hmm. Desert Essence, I think, is yeah, the brand that I use. Yeah, and it's not very expensive. It's yeah. cheaper than some of the over-the-counter yeah. face cleaners. Yeah, it, it so. really is, and it smells amazing, and just nice to know because again when you're putting stuff on your eyes and taking it off that comes that gets into your eyes and it gets absorbed into your system your tear ducts so your glands you're not you're not doing yourself any favors by doing that and then i would say you know there's other things that i use like we talked about coconut oil mm -hmm. i do put that like around my eyes like as kind of like an eye um you know, anti-aging type thing. You just got to be careful. Don't sleep on that because it can get in your eyes. So mm -hmm. if I'm just maybe doing a face mask and then I put the coconut oil underneath, I think it works amazing. So Alatura Naturals is my skincare line. I use jojoba oil to take off my makeup and then the coconut oil. And I'd have to say for me, my top three, um, I would pick, uh, I use Juice Beauty mm -hmm. as my um, face wash and toner. I like them. They're easy to find. They're in Ulta. And, um, They've just made a lot of strides. And I'll tell you one thing. One thing I noticed from moving to a truly more natural product is there's no artificial scents in it. Yeah. So all of a sudden I was like, why does it smell <laughs> weird like food? It's because it's not, it doesn't have artificial fragrances in it. And that's a good telltale sign when you're using it. Yeah. And I think uh, I, would, I would definitely go with the coconut oil for the body instead of, um, I would say that, jojoba oil or almond yeah. oil. And for those of you with really sensitive skin, I, I love essential oils. Like, I swear by essential oils. Yeah. And I would say if number three, I would 100% use essential oils on your skin instead of, like, so acne products, I would use tea tree oil. For deep conditioning, I would use, um, I would probably use rose oil, like a blend. Yeah. And something that's, like, uh, face brightening would be something like a citrus oil. Yeah. And you can put that in your makeup remover. So you could put it with a jojoba oil and wipe your, uh, the makeup off mm -hmm. and it would be scented and also deposit all those great um, essential oils under your skin. You don't need a lot. You would really want a couple drops diluted and several ounces of carrier oil. So. Well, and that's a good point too. You know, you're, you're talking about acne and that's one thing we do want to point out is that if you're trying everything, you've done everything, you've gone to every esthetician, nothing's working, a lot of that is your hormones. So definitely take that to heart that no one, everyone wants to look beautiful. You don't have to live that way. And we both struggled with, with acne because, again, we we're eating the wrong foods. you got to make sure you don't have any food intolerances. So you can buy all the natural skin care in the world. You can get rid of all the crap that you're using. But if internally you have, like, a gut issue, if your hormones, you know, are imbalanced, mm -hmm. it's not going to change. So take that very seriously. Um, you know, reach out to us. Like, I, I train, teach women in hormones, so I'd love to help with that. But that's something I do want to mention because I know there's women that struggle so much with mm -hmm. it. And it's it can be super frustrating when you are trying everything on the market and your doctor's like, hey, just get on some birth control. Do not do that because that will just wreck you even more. Right. So, so like, if you're still, if, if you're eating well, you're cleaning up your diet, you've thrown out all the crappy beauty products, your skin is a humongous organ, and it's mm -hmm. reflecting about what's going inside, on inside. Absolutely. And so if it's yeah. still, if you're taking, like, we recapped uh, uh, the couple of weeks, but it's it's proper nutrition, getting a lot of greens. And if you're not somebody who likes greens, get a superfood. We both mm -hmm. use Detox Organics. Like, we love it. We swear by it. It tastes like chocolate instead of, like, eating vegetables. Right. And for a lot of people, That's eating issue. a lot of vegetables <laughs> is not fun. So, you know, picking a quality supplement to get in your greens, yeah. I think. Super uh, important. Sleeping right and, and keeping the stress water. down. Water. We talked about water in the past. So we're, we're kind of trying to just to recap a couple things, too, if you guys missed it. Just how to um, have that youthful, you know, anti-age. And we talked about earlier that you brought up was that yeah. don't wait until you're 50 years old to get Botox, to do all these procedures. Like, that's not necessary. You can literally prevent all of these things to age gracefully. I, I have said it before. We've talked about, you know, Botox of how the different chemicals are in there. You know, it's just one of those things that if you use the right things when you're younger mm -hmm. and you can start at any time, 
you won't necessarily need to do all these other procedures or spend all this money you right. know, in excess that you don't need to. Because even the products we mentioned, like even the name brand, you don't need to have to go to Ulta. You don't need to buy Ulta. You don't need to buy Juice Beauty. Mm -hmm. What we talked about was some of the, the oils, the jojoba, the coconut oil, all of the almond oil. Right. Those are things available in your grocery store. Right. And we encourage you to go play around with a couple of essential oils. Whole mm -hmm. Foods, um, I think even Target and like, a lot of like mainstream stores are now carrying like or little things of organic right. essential oils. So, you know, you don't have to go expensive. You don't have to go like, I mean, Botox is expensive. So are all, so, so are some of these super intense beauty mm -hmm. lines. But really, really natural, amazing healthcare is available to you in your grocery store, and that's partly from the inside. But it's also on the outside. So, yeah. you know, there's no product that you need to buy. I think that experimenting in your own bathroom. A little tea tree oil, a little yeah. ci you know, citrus oil here and there can really give your skin that boost you're looking for without spending a ton of money. Yeah, and it's just it's one of those things that you know we want to educate on that because we've gone through it where we're like, what works, what doesn't. I mean, mm -hmm. we've all been on our own journeys, and that's the reason why we're doing this. So you don't have to you know wake up and be like, oh my gosh, like my skin, I just just not working. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I don't know what I'm doing right. That way, you kind of have these steps, or at least some tools, of how to um, address the issue, how to get back to having more useful skin, and it is possible. You know, there's a lot of people out there that say reverse aging isn't real. That is not true. That is not true. You can develop that dewy, um, you know, youthful skin just by adding in, you know, water, baby steps, water, get some more sleep, mm -hmm. um, turmeric, you know, anti-inflammatory stuff. Because again, we've talked about food. We are talking now about skincare, but I can't reiterate enough that even if you think you're eating healthy, mm -hmm. which you may be eating oatmeal every single morning, but that not might not be the right food for you. And right. you might be intolerant to it, therefore you break out. That's what happened to me, is that I can't tolerate grains. I could have like went the rest of my life being like, I'm eating healthy, I'm eating healthy, mm -hmm. until I eliminated those foods, realized that was causing the little tiny acne that I was getting around like my chin area, and voila. So one person's food is another person's poison. So I just want to emphasize that, just mm -hmm. experimenting, exactly like you said, but with food too. Yeah. So, and, and the idea is that you don't have to do all this every day. Like, it's not yeah. a matter of, like, got to hit this checkpoint, this point, checkpoint, this checkpoint. Uh, it depends on who you ask. Uh, yeah, I'm, well, I'm pretty intense with this kind of stuff. She's pretty intense. But, but I love it. It's and and I definitely think at the end of the day, it's about taking a couple of these things, applying them to your life, seeing the improvement. Hydration has changed the way my skin reacts in the morning, the way I look in the morning. And yeah. that's been uh, monumental to me. Yeah. And so it's changed how uh, my food has changed my adult acne, like yeah. I struggled with adult acne my for 10 years, yeah. like as an adult, like that just was mind blowing to me. So and you shouldn't have to look right, yeah, you but it was have little changes. Yeah. It was it was health and it was it was getting the crap off my skin, but it was also taking care of myself from the inside. Yeah. So yeah. these little steps add up to a lot in the long run. And we're actually going to put all these videos in a series in a sequence, so you can check out the nutrition portion, mm -hmm. supplementation portion, the um, stress, sleep, and hydration portion. And of course, all of the tips that we gave you to make some uh, natural, more natural beauty choices, and we'll have them in a little playlist on uh, at, in uh, the No right. Botox Beauty videos. So. Yeah, and it's all about just implementing little things here and there. And again, you might hear something is fantastic for your skin. Um, I have a coaching client that she was struggling with acne; she couldn't figure it out. And she, I was asking her, like, I go deep. I'm like, what are you eating? What time do you eat this? What are your supplements? And long story short, she is intolerant to apple cider vinegar. Just oh. because that's healthy for most people does not mm -hmm. mean that it's for you. So she messaged me today and said that her acne cleared up after she took apple cider vinegar out. So yes, wow. it's a health food, but that doesn't mean that it's not, it, that doesn't mean it's healthy for you because everybody's different. So. Right. So yeah. that's an amazing point. So mm -hmm. take a self audit, see what you can add in just if it's one little thing a day, yeah. one thing a night, and pretty soon these are all going to be habits. And very slowly, don't have to dump everything in your uh, your medicine cabinet, except anything with SLS. I encourage you to get that out of your body yeah. immediately. No matter what you do with everything else, yeah. that is going to disrupt any positive changes you're making on the inside. It's going to mess up your hormones. It's going to mess up your endocrine yeah. system. And all this work will be for naught. So do get the SLS out. Yeah. But everything else is a matter of one step at a time, applying it to your life. Yeah, and, getting that glow. and buying things one at a time too. Like, mm -hmm. you know, you're talking about throwing it out, and that's great. But if, like, let's say you can't afford that, then right. maybe just finish that up, 
-hmm. you know, I mean, and then, then check it and then, you know, look up what you can be using, um, in, in instead of, you know, it's just mm -hmm. one of those things that it's not going to happen all at once. And that's okay. Mm -hmm. I, in an ideal world that would happen, but it's like, you know, our journey started and we gradually took stuff out and then put stuff in. And then, you know, sometimes I'll buy a product and I'm like, Oh, this has this in it. I can't use it. And I thought away. You get it home. Yeah. So it happens and it's all experimentation, but the, the most important part is that you're aware and you're listen to your skin. If yeah, it's telling you something, it's telling you something. If it's, if you feel like it's not acting right, something is going on the inside, listen to it, make the subtle yeah. changes, see if it, and if all this stuff doesn't do anything, if you're truly adding superfoods and eating right and getting sleep and hydrating and you need a little more help, there could be food intolerances, there could be hormonal imbalances. Yeah. And with all the goodwill in the world, sometimes it takes a little more. So that is when you should look for a coach to help you do that. And yeah. you do that for a lot of women. So there's a lot of people out there that can help you. And you can always message Taylor and I, mm -hmm. um, ask questions, we'll answer them below. But also, yeah. you know, reach out on inside of the hey, messages, Jenny. you know, <laughs> that's a, we, we want to, we want to help where we can. So if you think that yeah. there's something going on with your skin that maybe you have a question on, could you be intolerant? Yeah. Those things are the questions you can shoot over. Yeah. And that's the thing too. So I have a four week hormone coaching program where we go over everything from self love, self care, mind, body, soul, all of that, but it's to reset your hormones. And so through that, we find out if you have a food intolerance, I put you through a detox, all of that. So if you guys are interested, that's starting next week. So mm -hmm. Would love to have oh, you guys. Yeah, I have a couple, yeah, I have a couple of spots open still. So if you're kind of struggling with this, this will definitely help you out. So, and that, that's another thing. I was listening to a podcast the other day, and they were saying how, and I completely agree with this. I, you can tell. Show me someone. I'll look at their skin, and I can tell how they eat. And that's just the truth. You know, it's, mm -hmm. you know, I joke that Tommy. My boyfriend Tommy has like the most amazing skin I've ever seen in a man, and he like also drinks the same amount of water that I do, which is insane. I've never had anyone like drink the same amount of water as me, and he eats extremely healthy, and it just shows on you his are like skin. You're a camel. Like, you're a real life camel. <laughs> if you all want to see real life camel, chug, watch, I chug water. She will chug out of a gallon. Love it. I will say I've made it up to 80 ounces a day, yeah. which is incredible feat for me. I, sometimes I was only drinking less than 40. But, like I said, it's made a huge difference. And like you said, you can tell um, on the outside what's going on the inside yeah, a lot of times. Yeah, you really can. You and can tell. Your skin's telling you something. Mm -hmm. So definitely ask questions below. We'd love to answer them. Send Taylor a message if you've got questions more pertaining to hormones and stuff, if you think that might be the problem with your skin. She yep. is the hormone guru. Um, you can send me food questions and uh, what to add. And we'll answer some of the questions about uh, the oils and stuff below. Have a great yes. afternoon and evening, Thank guys. Thank you for tuning in. Again, any yes. questions, don't hesitate. We'd love to help. So we will be back. Just because this series is I done know. today does not should mean we, you'll see the end of Should we tell the next of series? Do it. So Taylor is getting ready for a photo shoot, and we are about to journey through the Build a Little Booty program. We're building Taylor, a Build a Booty program. Taylor is going to kick my bum. <laughs> build a booty. Build a booty. <laughs> Build a booty. We're going to. Yeah. We're doing a build a booty program. So and all you ladies out there. <laughs> who are interested in a at home, in your bedroom, yeah. banded workout. It's short. It's sweet. And what brought this up was I asked Taylor. She um, once did personal training. Mm -hmm. uh, what I could do, the most effective. I don't want to waste time. I don't like going to the gym for hours. I was feeling pretty defeated with my attempts to build um, my butt. And I told her, this is what I have. She built me a 30-day program around it, and we're going to share some of those workouts and yeah. stuff in another little series. So stay tuned. Very classy, though. We're Have not a, we're not yeah, joining that Instagram this wagon. This isn't like a very classy. This isn't a trap queen workout. Yeah. So your kids. Although we could listen to trap music while doing <laughs> we it. We could. Yeah, we definitely could. We could get pretty gangster. Get pumped up on it. <laughs> but yeah, so we'll be having another series, and we hope you join us. Yes. Just really want to share some free like inspiration and. Uh, just some fun stuff. Like I am, I did a, a couple years ago a 30-day build a butt program at home. I loved it. It worked. I yeah. felt really encouraged with what I saw in 30 days and felt strength. And you really don't. And a it. lot of these isolated exercises, you know, isolated just meaning you know targeting certain areas. You can use bands for this. You can be at home. I used to call them kitchen slides, where I would do like these lunge type things with a kitchen towel. Like I don't you don't have to need. Do those, do I? Yep. Oh, but. <laughs> You don't need anything crazy, and anyone who tells you, you know, that you need otherwise, you have to go to the gym and do two-a-days, like, 
Yeah, no. don't do those two a days, girls. No, don't ruin your home. Or guys. Hormones. Just, yeah. yeah, another a normal, another hormone. <laughs> That's massacre. a whole other topic. Awesome. Other so topic. we will see you in our next series. Yes. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for all the love, guys. And right. we will talk to you soon. Goodbye. <laughs>